Penguins hosting the Flyers, and the Flyers are plus 180 on the money line. The Penguins are minus 220. The over-under is 6.5 goals. The Flyers getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Game goes into OT, you'd automatically win. The Penguins laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two, and they'd have to win in regulation. Now the Flyers have lost their last two. The Penguins lost a heartbreaker today to the Bruins. Now, before you bet on this game, understand these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. Use a site like VegasInsider.com. It is totally free and allow you to compare all the casino's pricings in one place. And then use a website like Covers.com. It allow you to compare all the casino's uh, gambling stats if you want to compare that. Player props, who is on the ice, who may or may not be playing in this game. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 6-4. and four. The Penguins have won the last two games. The Penguins are 7-3 and three against the Flyers in their last 10. The Favorite has won the last two games. The Favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. However, the Underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-goal games in their last 10, one in their last four. The Under has hit in their last three. The Over-Under is 5-5. Five and five. And the Over-Under at 6.5 goals is 5-5. Five and five. The last game they played, the Penguins beat the Flyers 5-1 in Pittsburgh. The game before that, they beat them 4-1 in Philadelphia. The game before that, the Flyers won 4-1 in Philadelphia. And the game before that, the Penguins beat the Flyers 5-4 in overtime in Pittsburgh. Now, the Flyers have lost their last two. They are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The over has hit in their last two games, and the over is 7-3 and three in their last 10. We've had 9 goals, 9 goals, 5 goals, and 3 goals. The Flyers have scored 3-plus goals in every one of their last... Wow. Every one of their last 9 games. The last game that they did not was when they played the Penguins. Now, for the Penguins, they are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. The over-under is 5-5. Five and five. We've had 7 goals, 2 goals, 11 goals, and 7 goals. The Penguins have scored 3, 2, 4, and 4 in their last handful of games. So I imagine this is going to be a high-scoring game, and if the law of averages work out, 4 is a little bit greater than 3. So I'm going to take Pittsburgh with the money line. I will take the Flyers getting the goals in this game, and I'm going to go over, and I'm going to call overtime. Why not? These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.